We start by finding a tall spine. Again, might need blankets underneath your pelvis if the hips are a little tight and you're falling more into a rounded position like this, okay? Then you would definitely need the blankets. Once you get upright, place your hands at your low back and try to encourage the top of your pelvis to push forward so you're more in an anterior tilt from the side angle. That would look like the difference between this and the top of the pelvis forward, this. So the back, low back muscles are active. Okay, now lift the belly up, in and up, and think about spiraling upward as you twist. Lift the belly in and up. Turn the skin of the abdomen to the left. Use the exhales for twisting. At this point, back hand gives you a little support. Front arm can grab the thigh gently. Lift the abdomen up. Get long, rotate it to the left. Try not to use this right arm too much. A little usage of it is totally fine, just not trying to overuse it, okay? Belly in and up. Think about rotating your belly button to the left. Oh, there it is. I just think about like kind of wringing out a towel and pull my right belly towards the left side of my spine. It kind of creates that transversus rotation. You know, there's unfortunately there's no way to like just get your transverse to activate until you've uh, kind of spoken to it. It's like any other muscle in the body, um, except that it's very deep and it's something that we probably aren't used to using. And therefore, as a result, the nervous system uh, may not be used to communicating with it. And so maybe you engage it throughout your day, but it's unconscious, right? And we're trying to bring consciousness to it, like a, trying to bring the ability to be deliberate with it to say, I want it to activate and so can it. And that takes a lot of different exploration, experimentation, and ultimately practice. Okay, unwind, inhale. Ah, a little counter twist. We'll use the belly in and up to twist. Ah. 